There is something that is super creepy that narcissistic people do often. They will try to recreate their past with the new supply. Now, I get that a lot of people like habit and a lot of people like doing the same things and, and going the same places. And that's just their thing. That's what they enjoy. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about down to very bizarre details, trying to and succeeding in replicating their past and reinstating the new supply into their old life down to details you guys my name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and heal from toxic relationships in your life now the weird thing is these stories apply over and over and over again to many different people's situations and now this one you may not recognize this one you may not see and it doesn't happen with all narcissistic people However, when it does happen, it's super creepy. I have heard so many stories of the new supply looking very similar to the person who was discarded by the narcissist. Okay, so what? So the narcissist has a type. Let's just say a blonde. They like blondes. And then they meet a new, the new supply has blonde hair as well. Well, it's not just that they have blonde hair. If you look at them, they look the same. Okay, so they have a specific type. That's not so weird. Oh, isn't it? But then suddenly the new supply will be dressing differently and maybe cut their hair a certain way. And it's exactly like the old supplies hair and the old supplies clothes. And you think that's weird. That's starting to look kind of strange. And then not only that, but they start taking that new supply to the exact locations that they took you. So now this person looks like you dresses like you is going the same places as you. They will take the same photos and selfies that they took with you in the same place with the same expression on their face weeks after they left you, if they even wait that long. Like who looks that put together as a couple in two weeks, right? Very creepy. Okay. If you need help with anything or you're going through it with a toxic person, check out the information in the main description for coaching, group coaching, or peer support. If you are a person who has been with a narcissist who does things like this, you will notice that slowly you will be being groomed towards certain behaviors in the household, towards certain habits in the household, towards like, say you never cooked, say you don't really like to cook, but this narcissist needs someone who cooks, okay? Not only will they have you cooking within a few weeks, but you'll be cooking the exact meals their ex cooked for them, okay? And then it's things like that, right? So it's one thing after another after another until they have recreated the little scenario the tableau really of what they expect their life to look like and guess what also stays the same the narcissistic abuse is what also stays the same okay so you may not see it from the outside when you're watching new supply being morphed into a version of you the amount of abuse that that person is going through all right, you may never see it because what they're going to do is keep that behind closed doors, just like they did with you. And the friends who know about it are turning a blind eye to it. And the friends who don't know about it would be shocked and surprised and never believe you because they never saw it happen to you. They never saw it happen to the person before them. So why would they believe the new supply when she says it's happening to her? Well, they've always been a good person to everyone else, right? And then they say things like that. And this new supply or you or whoever it is starts to believe they're the problem. They start to think, oh my gosh, I really do look like her. Well, that seems to be what he likes. And so, or, or seems to be what she likes. So I would say if you're seeing that and you're seeing just like how far they take it and how creepy that is, know for a fact that that is a clear indication that all the other toxic stuff will go on or is going on. Do not think that they like that other person better and it's a better version of you or anything like that, okay? That's a super creepy thing to do to people. It's a super creepy way to live. And the manipulation is already present when you see something like that, which means so is the toxic manipulation. You guys take care and I will see you on the next video. If you need help,